Hello everybody, it's uh, a rather sunny Sunday the 7th of August and uh, I have to say rather warm today um, but today is the 50th week um, that I haven't had any alcohol which isn't strictly true because I have had the odd slurp of a cocktail and the odd shandy but it's 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 minuscule amounts in real terms certainly compared to anything I drank before and you know it, 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 it I still surprise myself even though I say it probably every other couple of weeks I make these videos I still surprise myself that I'm at this point um, and I'm surprised that I continue but that is my intention for the time being I certainly am going to get to 52 weeks um a year because that's the goal i set myself um and at that point then i'll decide what's next for me um i'm not really sure what is appropriate i i, I sort of I, I i find myself toying between should i try and become a moderate drinker and not drinking anything at all ever again. Um, and I, I don't really know, after being so long without alcohol, what I'd even think I'd want to be a moderate drinker. Um, but that's how I feel, and, and I can't stop that still. Maybe I need more time of not drinking to, to get it out, to rewire my brain completely that alcohol is not part of your future. That's not to say... And I've never had this, as I've expressed in previous videos. It's not to say that I'm climbing the walls desperate for a drink. You know, I've had many social events now, but, you know, going to pubs with friends and just not drinking anything, going to, you know, meals and not drinking anything. And I, I haven't really found it overly difficult. It's just different. And in a sense, it's, um, I suppose it's, it's not as exciting. Uh, because alcohol does stimulate, you know, you, well, you lose your inhibitions in a sense, or to a degree you lose your inhibitions, and depending on how much you drink, you lose all of them. But, and, and, and that, I find that it's not, it, it, it life in a sense seems less colourful, um, but equally there's some other more colourful as aspects of it um, that, you know, I, you know, I never have to think, for example, Whereas before, if I was going out to see friends or whatever, alcohol and my drinking would be an issue in terms of how I how I would approach that. You know, I'd have to be sure I, you know, I could get a taxi back or my wife could take me or something along those lines. Now that, that just doesn't even come into play because, you know, I'm I'm not drinking, so I may as well drive. And that that for me is a, a quite a nice benefit actually. I mean I I never was one that suffered from headaches or hangovers, frankly. Um, so that wasn't really a big issue for me. Um, but it is nice going to bed, having, a, I think, a better sleep. I've touched on this again before. I think your sleep does improve when you when you stop drinking. And certainly, you know, the, 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 the rather, rather noisy snoring I had, my wife now tells me I'm, as I was before, I really drank much. Um, you know, very, very quiet, almost to the point that I, I'm so quiet, she's wondering if I'm alive. Um, so th th there have been other changes to counteract perhaps the disbenefit, is, if, if I can call it that. But, you know, the, my the, going forward, I'm going to get to 52 weeks and then I'm going to see what the next stage is. Um, I, I think the next stage for me is probably going to be one based around focusing on, on building body strength and exercise and, and diet because I still need to I'm not so much, I'm not fully focusing on weight loss as such I'm focusing more on on me feeling better and right now as I look at myself in the camera um, you know I, I don't feel as comfortable in my own body from a physical perspective as I, I think I could be and that I historically often put that down to alcohol and all the things that go with it. You know, you have a few beers, you have a kebab and all that sort of stuff. That's not in my life anymore. So that there's got to be, there's got to be something else that I've got to change if I if I realistically want to 
to, to feel better myself. Um, you know, I, I have seen improvements over the last year, uh, you know, quite a significant amount of weight loss, but not, an, but, you know, when you're coming from a very high figure, which I believe I was at, it doesn't seem, um, doesn't seem that, doesn't, it's, it's a lot, but it's not that, it's not impacting enough. Um, so, you know, that's probably the next stage for me. Um, what I intend to do on my 52nd week and one year anniversary is sort of give a little bit of a breakdown of where I started, why I started, um, why, what I experienced, what I saw as the benefits, the disbenefits, the ups and the downs, and just give sort of a potted, short potted history of, of the last year. Um, one for my own self because the purpose of this this series of videos really is a is a is a is a montage a history of what I was thinking and how I was thinking and if it happens to rub off on other people and they benefit in any way shape or form then great um, but the most important thing was to get it down digitally for myself um, and I think I've achieved that pretty consistently over the last year I'm not to say I've been perfect, um, but all I can say for all of you out there that are thinking, you know, even if it's just a, a, a little thought in your mind, just go and have a go because, you know, you, I think you can really change things in your life positively if, if, if you, especially if you think you've got a little bit of a problem, um, you know, you, you just want, if you want to reset there's a load of support out there there's lots of books i've mentioned them before there's lots of youtube in fact there's fantastic stuff on youtube from just average people like me who uh, you know are talking about what they've experienced there's tons of stuff out there um which i think is really useful of course the paid programs of one sort or another and then there's the other programs um that you can use but and, and and some will suit some and some will not suit some so you've got to find what's right for you um but what whatever you're thinking right now in terms of you know do what if, if you're sober curious in any way i'd go and take a peek because you might be surprised at what you see and more importantly what you experience and and how that might be impacting on you um i mean just to give you an example um one of the small little factors for me uh, my daughter was living with us at the time and uh, you know she could hear every time I opened the fridge it seemed to me or went to the garage and got a beer every time she'd text me from her bedroom saying oh you're going for another one do you need another one except and it used to grate on me a bit well now she's left home and she's in she, she's in a relationship with a young man and you know I've been out with a few times with them and of course I'm sitting there drinking a non-alcoholic beer saying well do you really need that second cocktail do you really need that second glass of wine and it, the roles have reversed somewhat so, but I say it in jest because I know that uh, she is a, well, I believe, a moderate drinker. But you know, I was a, a a pretty moderate drinker for a long time, and it just creeped up. So, um, I, I, I want to be, I want to send her a message that don't let it get out of hand because it can over time, especially if you've got stresses and strains of relationships or job problems or financial problems. It can easily get out of hand, and it can get a grip of you. And then it's going to be difficult to walk away from it. But I guess in a sense, I was one of the fortunate ones. I, I, I could just stop it. I, I still today really don't know how I managed that, but I did. And and, and it never was a, a real challenge for me. Um, I'm not saying it was easy. I'm just saying I, I wasn't climbing the walls, etc. But, you know, if you are thinking about maybe a reset, there's plenty of stuff out there. Please go and take a look at it because you'll be doing yourself and your wider family um a disservice if you don't so that's the end from me i'll be on my 52nd week when i next speak to you all in the meantime maybe put the drink down speak soon